like to give a special nail addict shout out to April Shorty, Kathy Wellman, Exotica's Empire, and Sammy the Goat for being the first four to comment on my last video. Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So y'all know sometimes I feature my daughters on the channel because they are always getting their nails done. Um, I have two in middle school that get their nails done pretty regular and then my high schooler obviously. Um, so this is my middle daughter, Cortasia, and she is in the seventh grade. She likes her nails very simple. Um, but I wanted to show this tutorial because you know when you have someone that just wants like a white tip this uh, method I'm using today is like the simplest so we're gonna use these white tips here that I got from I can't remember I know a company sent me them but I can't remember what company and I really don't use them but when she said she wanted white tips I thought this would be perfect and then she also wanted pink underneath the white tips which is rare for her because this is more of my tomboy girl like uh, she's girly in ways but she's more of a relaxed tomboy type of situation too um, but she still loves her nails and everything and I love it so I'm going in with this Madame Glam gel paint and I'm painting underneath these white tips and I'm gonna give that a cure in my lamp for 60 seconds once I'm done um, off camera I do believe I did a second coat just to make it completely opaque where you don't see um, like sheerness from the pink so off camera I did her her left uh, her right hand I did her right hand first like a trial and error type situation since I only record one hand anyways and found that I needed to paint all the way down so when I paint it uh, just the like tip she likes them pretty short so when I cut down that side I ended up having to go underneath with a gel liner and like try to fill that in pink so this just made it a lot easier and I'm gonna give that a 30 second cure so the gel polish I used was Electra from Adam Glam and so now they're all cured here and this is what it looks like after the two coats so I'm going in with prep like normal I pushed back her cuticles already you guys saw that and now I'm using this drill bit and just going around her cuticle area to remove any dead skin that may be there So then I'm going in with a mandrill and a fine grit sanding band over her natural nail just to rough that up for the adherence of the tips. I did apply dehydrator and primer as well and I don't know where that clip went in this video but you won't see that but typically after this step I'm going to apply those nail tips first and then once I apply the nail tips is where I would add on the dehydrator and primer. So now I'm going in with my KDS nail glue and applying the tips and I was afraid it wouldn't adhere because it was polished all the way down but she currently still has these nails on I've done a fill and everything so they held up pretty darn good. I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you may be. And as always, thank you so much to anyone that does take it their time to watch my videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family, and I thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. And if you've been subscribed to the channel, I love you guys so much, and I'm just thankful and grateful for each and every one of you. And now I'm taking my nail clippers and I'm going to go ahead and clip this down to her desired length, making sure that the nails match her opposing hand. Then 
Then I'm going in with my Pana 8080 hand file and I'm just crisping the sides a bit and then the free edge and also just trying to file off any of that gel polish that may have seeped to the top of the nail uh, because it's kind of like a red bottom type of effect. We want that pink underneath. We don't want it, you know, on the sides or anything. So just straightening everything out. Then I'm taking a mandrill and going right across the tips where the tip and the natural nail meet just to kind of smooth that out. Now this part is optional for me. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I just decided to do that in this particular video. Then I'm taking my Mia Secret Clear Acrylic that I always use. Um, and I'm just going over it basically and building up her little nail with some acrylic just to kind of make everything nice and sturdy and to keep that tip in place. And this is what I mean by a beginner friendly French tip nail set. So you get you some white tips, you glue them on to your desired length, and then you can take some clear acrylic, poly gel, whatever you use, hard gel, and just build that nail and you have a perfect French tip without having to paint it. Now, the only downside of using a tip like this is sometimes I like my um, French my French used to be like a deep French so obviously with these tips you wouldn't get a deep French but this is pretty much how I would have drawn it on anyways for her so it just worked for us to use this tip and the clear acrylic and yeah again she still has these nails on um, I did this set probably like I think this was her first set for back to school so that was back in August and then when they grew out a bit, I did a fill on them. And then it's about to be time to fill her again in like this weekend, something like that. And I may record it, I may not, because again, uh, my daughter, this one here, she she particularly likes Frenchies. And she'll add a little razzle dazzle to it, but not much. Um, so for instance, her fill, I didn't record it because it was still the French tip nails. And she did do an accent now, so her ring finger was completely blue with white hearts um, on her ring finger and her thumb so that was a, a little change to it but other than that she basically loves her just plain typical Frenchies For the application, I am using my Coupa Odalis monomer as well as my Kiara Sky acrylic brush and a size 8 and it worked perfectly for these little fingers. <laughs> So I have a lot going on. Um, I'm trying to finish up my Criminal Claws nail set for the mystery box. And then next month in October, you guys can expect to see every Saturday a Halloween spotlight collab uh, video where me and nine other ladies are going to go ahead and create uh, Halloween spooky nail sets for the month of October. It's a very fun challenge that happens every month and if you're interested we normally send out those notifications a little bit before time uh, to see who's all interested and get our group of ladies together that are going to support one another. Um, I'm going in right now on these nails with a second bead uh, just to kind of further build up the nail when they're short like this you don't want to make them really bulky but you do want to still have something there so I decided to go over them with one more bead and I felt like that was absolutely perfect for these nails So now I'm going in again with that hand file and I'm just going to further crisp and everything up before 
pulling over the tops and this uh, acrylic dried beautifully with my odorless monomer if you're not familiar with odorless monomer uh, most of the time with odorless monomer it's slow setting what I do with my odorless monomer is I go in with half of the monomer so 50% monomer 50% acetone which helps for it to set a bit quicker um, and a lot of times even after that once I'm done applying I do this wipe off method here just because there's a tacky layer there um, and then um, I'm able to go in and start filing um, with my Mia Secret Clear Acrylic, I found that they dry perfectly well, just like I'm using regular monomer, and I love that. Um, sometimes with the colored monomer, excuse me, colored acrylics, I do find that it takes a bit longer to set. They're a bit stickier for longer. Um, <clears throat> with the odorless monomer, there is a sticky inhibition layer, so yeah. I'm running out of my odorless monomer, and um, I... I'm going to place another order, but not sure how fast that will come. So in the meantime, in between time, my next video, y'all see with acrylic, I will be using the Criminal Claws Monomer, just so you guys can see how that functions and works as well. It works like a beauty. It is low odor. There's not a real strong smell, but there is a smell. Um, and so it does still bother me a bit, but I think I'll be okay because it's not as strong as just like a regular monomer. So now I'm going in with that mandrill and I'm just going around the cuticle to make that nice and flushed and just going a once over over the nail just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and we get that top layer off that leaves like a little stickiness from the odorless monomer. We want to make sure we get all of that off and this set was so simple, so easy. Like <laughs> I love doing her nails because she just has such like it just takes me no time to do them it's so simple And then I'm going to go in with my mini buffer and just buff all of the nails. And this does help for the nails to become super smooth so we can go in with the final touches. So now we're going in with some top coat and just top coating over all of the nails. Again, so simple and easy for someone that just likes a simple French tip. This is the perfect way to achieve a very cute, very simple, very nice French tip at home. And again, you can use whatever product you would like. So now I'm going in with Electra, that, that Madame Glam polish, and then my dotting tool and a gel liner brush. And I'm going to create two hearts on this nail. So again, she wanted it really simple, but I think this was a very cute accent to the nails as well. I always do my hearts like this. Um, some may think this is like time consuming doing all that extra because I see where people just use the dotting tool to make their hearts, but I want my heart to come out pretty nice. So I feel like doing this dotting tool method and then using a liner brush works very well. The liner brush I'm using today is from Madame Glam. This is their ultra liner brush and it just worked so well on the nail and made two absolutely perfect hearts once i got the heart set she did cure and lamp for 30 seconds 
Then on that same nail, I'm taking my Carhartt's rhinestone glue around the cuticle and I'm just going to do a simple cuticle cuff here um, and she'll cure that for 30 seconds as well. And then I'm taking my top coat and top coating back over this nail and just top coating over those rhinestones and everything to seal in those hearts and the rhinestones. And again, she's going to cure for 30 seconds. I forgot her thumb initially, so I'm also top coating over that before she does that cure. Off camera, I did apply some cuticle oil and I'll be back in just a moment with the final look. And here's the finished set. Super cute, super simple, very girly, super nice. But comment down below and let me know what you think of this very easy, simple, and cute design. If you've made it this far into the video, I would love it if you would join the family. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to be the best you that you can be and much love to all.